What's up everybody, welcome to Just Start. This is going to be the tutorial section of the video. And today we're going to be going over how I do my layering. Um, what we're going to be drawing is Tinkerbell. And the part that we're going to be drawing is this part right here. And I just want to show you how I'm going to go through and like, I haven't even figured out this color at all yet. So I'm going to show you kind of how I go through and um, get this green. So this is the green we're going to be going for. I'm going to do this top section right here because um, we got some dark, we got some medium, we got some light. So I'm going to show you how I get all that and we're going to get right into it. So. The first thing I like to do when I'm layering is I like to get like a light color, a medium color, and a darker color. Um, so for the colors that I'm going to be using, it's going to be green opaque. These are Faber-Castell Polychromo pencils. Um, I'm going to also be using green yellowish. That's going to be my lighter green. I'm going to be using cold gray one. I'm going to be using warm gray one and I'm going to be using white. Um, the white that I'm using is uh, Caran d'Ache Luminance. It's wax based as opposed to oil based and I kind of like how this white works better than the white that comes with the Faber-Castells if you're wondering. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lightest color which is the green yellowish and I'm gonna kinda go through most of this except for the lightest areas and I'm just gonna get a really light coat down when you're doing your first layer it's important to get um, even smooth coverage because when you go to burnish it you'll see you'll see it if it's not uniform. So I'm just using really light pressure. I'm holding my pencil really far back and I'm just I'm really lightly trying to get a base coat down. So you can see I left this part out because that's going to be, um, actually I do kind of want to, so I'm going to add one color to my list here. This is from Prismacolor Premier. It's a gray green light and this is also a wax based uh, pencil. So I'm going to use this for my lightest area. So now that I've got that, I'm going to come with the darker color, this is green opaque. And with this one, I'm going to layer on top of the green and the darker green areas. So what I'm sort of noticing is this is not as dark or as brown as like it should be so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna come with the walnut brown so like I said I haven't figured this color out yet so this is kind of how I would go about that so I noticed right here that this isn't as brown as the picture that I'm drawing so I'm gonna add a little brown underneath before I put the olive brown and that's just like because I just noticed it wasn't brown enough. So 
So there's this one dark section right here, and then some of this. And I'm doing it really lightly still, just kind of mixing colors in here. Okay. So now I'm going to take the dark green and I'm going to go over that brown. So now I'm starting it with the darker green, I'm shaping out my darker areas. So there's one area in here that's a little lighter, so we're going to leave that without the dark green. Okay. So now it's not as like yellow-ish as, as the picture as I'm looking at. So I'm gonna go over it again with the olive green yellowish to try to get more of a color that I'm looking for. the whole thing mostly except for the lightest area which is up here and there's also like a light area in here Okay, once you got all of that, I'm gonna start to uh, burnish. Uh, I'm not really sure what color I'm gonna use to burnish the whole thing with, but what I'm gonna start with is this olive green and kinda not be too hard with it, but um, do a little bit harder pressure and try to flatten out the grooves of the paper and smooth out all of the color that I got in here. And I'm starting to like the way that that looks. It's a little dark, but that's what the gray is gonna be for. And I'm just um, a little bit harder pressure, but not too hard. And I'm just slowly starting with my darker areas and just blending my way in towards the lighter areas. And then I'm gonna use the lighter colors once I start to get to the lighter parts. And remember there's a little area right here that's kind of a lighter color, so we're just gonna leave a, that a little less dark. And this is, again, it's called burnishing. When I burnish, I like to use uh, circles. These patterns here that I'm getting are just from looking at the picture and just trying to follow what the picture's doing. So this part in here is a little lighter, so I'm gonna start to ease up on my pressure a little bit. color is going to be I think I want to try warm gray one and see kind of what that gets me
So it's looking kind of like the picture now. So now what we got to do is um, get more of the color that we're looking for. So I think now I want to try a layer of light green from the Faber Casta or from um, Prismacolor, and that's going to make it a little bit more green. and a little bit more smooth because the wax based colors is a little bit more smooth. Okay, I like that a little bit more. I'm gonna come back in with the olive green. First, I'm gonna go with um, a little bit more walnut brown here. Let's get a little bit darker. putting this brown in places that are a little bit darker so when I go over it with the olive green to get more of that color that I'm looking for it's a little bit darker so now I'm really going lightly over the top of this with this olive green just to get more of that olive green color because that uh, light green that I went over with just now made it a little bit too light and the picture is a little bit more of this kind of yellowish olive green so now I'm hitting this last layer to try to bring that color out a little bit more. happy with the way that this is looking now it's looking a lot more like the picture and now that I have so many layers on here what I'm able to do is separate the light areas even more like right in here so now like you see now I built up these layers so now like this part right here you can see how it's light right here and you know a little bit dark right here and then there's like light patches in here so what I can do is with this olive color now because it's different than that last lime green or light green that I went over it with I can take this color and leave I don't have to go over the whole thing I can leave that you know that clear area out and just kind of create all of these highlights that are in this picture and I'm just going really light pressure you know I'm um, just taking my time to just sh make make all these shapes that are on here and that's how you get it to look more realistic So see how I just kind of left out some of that undertone there and I was able to create this these little blocks of light here so that's how you kind of make it look realistic and you use layering to kind of shade and 
shadow and stuff and that's kind of how I go through and, and get my colors and start to kind of create them. So I hope that helps. Um, that's how I do my layering. Um, if you want to stay tuned for the speed drawing, we're going to finish this Tinkerbell. If not, I'll see you on the next one.